I'm reviewing a Batman movie, so you know what that means. Batman mask, Batman mask, Batman mask. I five down low to the side. everybody this is bat flick or bat dude 22 bat dude whatever the hell he calls himself i am here to review the lego batman movie don't look at me but in all reality you guys this is 22 tiger dude here in the batman mask and i am here to review the lego batman movie which is directed by chris mckay the film of course has will arnett as the voice of lego batman you also have zach galifianakis michael Cera. Rosario Dawson and Ray Fiennes. So the Lego Batman movie tells the story of Lego Batman who is out fighting crime. He's trying to save Gotham City but of course when Batman isn't fighting he feels alone. Obviously his parents died when he was very young. Alfred is like really the only family that he has so Batman when he's not fighting he just feels alone all the time. And then he accidentally adopts Robin. So of course Robin who is now his adopted son he goes on the adventures with Lego Batman so not only is Lego Batman responsible for Robin but he's also responsible of making sure that the criminals don't destroy Gotham City. Lego Batman is a film I was very excited for. This is actually my most anticipated animated film of 2017 because Lego Batman is definitely my favorite character in the Lego movie which is a film I actually think is solid. I don't think it's one of the greatest anime movies of all time or anything but I did like the Lego movie it was creative it was well written it was funny the third act especially was just terrific so with the Lego Batman movie I was hoping this could be at least just as good as the Lego movie if not maybe even better and so after seeing the Lego Batman movie I could definitely say this movie did not disappoint me because I had a blast with the Lego Batman movie. I actually think, to be honest, this is better than the Lego movie. Even though, granted, I did like the Lego movie, I just think Lego Batman is just a little better than that one. This film, first of all, is a satire on Batman's whole entire life. They poke little things that we saw in other Batman movies, like, just to name examples, the 1989 Batman, Batman and Robin, of course, last year's Batman v Superman, the Dark Knight movies, you name it. Every single Batman movie that has been made in the past, they jab at all all of those things and I thought that was just so clever and just some of the things about Batman's personality as well how he's lonely and then you have like the Joker who tries to get Batman to admit that without the Joker Batman is pretty much not himself so there's things like that throughout this film that I actually thought was very clever I thought it was very funny and it just made for an even more entertaining film I definitely was not expecting this to be a huge satire on the life of Batman but it's definitely there and it was executed so well the writing in this film is genius seriously there are so many brilliant moments in this film they're very well aware of this batman character at the same time though they're not disrespecting the character either they're kind of honoring him in a way with all of these things that we see in this film which I have to really give credit to the writers for. This is just a very well handled film that honors Batman but does poke fun at the same time and that was actually very refreshing to see in a movie like the Lego Batman movie. The voice talents in this film from everyone are incredible. Will Arnett is seriously terrific as Lego Batman. Seriously, I don't think anyone can voice Lego Batman quite like Will Arnett. He continues to just bring that energetic personality like he did with the Lego movie, which is something I really did love about the Lego Batman movie. Michael Cera is great as Robin. I was maybe a little bit worried he would come off as a little bit annoying, but 
Granted, he really wasn't. I actually was impressed with him. There was not a moment where I was actually a little annoyed. I actually thought from the first scene we see this character, he was nothing but a charming young man. And I had a big smile on my face whenever Robin came up. I loved this character and Michael Cera was the perfect casting choice to voice his character. I loved his little back and forth with Lego Batman. Ray Fiennes is terrific as Alfred. I loved his role and I loved how Alfred is trying to get Batman to go out and find someone or at least go out in the world so Batman doesn't feel lonely anymore. Rosario Dawson is terrific as Batgirl 2, Batgirl or Barbara Gordon for that matter. I thought she voiced the character very well. She was a lot of fun. And of course, Zach Galifianakis as Joker, Lego Joker. I thought he was Brilliant. Now, when you hear about it at first, it may seem weird, but seeing it on screen, you could see why they picked Zach Galifianakis because he really is the right choice to voice Joker. He did make me laugh quite a bit, and he did add so much personality to the character, but there's even heart to the character that I actually really liked. And that's something I'll say about Lego Batman. You know, Batman is your guy that's like, yeah, I'm Batman, I'm cool, I'm awesome. There's even even a song, a rap song that Lego Batman sings in the beginning of this film, which I loved. By far one of the funniest moments of this film, but there's actually heart to this character and how this film explored the more heartwarming side of Lego Batman. It was sweet. This is not only a funny movie, but this is actually a very sweet movie. I was actually quite moved. Towards the end, there was actually almost a point where I cried. I maybe got a little watery eyed, but that's really about it. This is not as deep as the third act of the Lego movie or anything, but it's very heartwarming, honestly, and I really like it when not only can you have fun, not only can you laugh at anything that's popping up on screen, but you could also feel a little something for the characters, especially with Lego Batman. The direction by Chris McKay was also very great. I think that he was able to make this movie stand on his own. This movie is not trying to be the Lego movie. This movie is not trying to be as deep as the Lego movie. This movie is trying to stand on its own and it stands on its own very well. I think it's actually successful at standing on its own. You don't have to be like the Lego movie, and that's what I'm expecting from the Lego Ninjago movie, which is coming out later this year. I don't want that movie to be the Lego movie. I want that movie to stand on its own, like the Lego Batman movie. The Lego Mation is also really cool. It flows very nicely. It was just so cool to watch. It's so colorful, it's so bright, and it's really refreshing considering we're used to watching these 3D animated movies. So to see something like the Legomation kind of form, the way the characters move or just the details in the background when you see something move in the background, most of that to me looked very fluid and I was very impressed with the Legomation. And whoever is in charge of the Legomation, I seriously applaud them because I can't imagine how long it takes to just do something like that. And as far as pacing, I'll be honest, I wasn't bored once with this film. Even when, yes, I could feel the film slowing down, I wouldn't say I was bored. I was still very interested in this film because even when there's nothing comedic going on, I'm still just so invested in this world. I'm not gonna really spoil anything, but all the other characters that we got to see in this film, like besides like Joker or Bane, there's a lot of characters we see in this film and there's even some surprise appearances that I won't spoil, but all I'm gonna say is that was pretty dang terrific. I also forgot to mention, just like in the Lego movie, the Lego Batman movie does have a terrific soundtrack. I thought it was just so great, especially in the end credits. I thought the soundtrack in the end credits was just terrific and it put a big smile on my face. Now the only problems I will say I have with the Lego Batman movie is just that some of the humor does come off as a little bit forced in my opinion and it does kind of drag a little too long. Like this scene where 
Barbara Gordon is telling everyone about Batman and how he's no good for Gotham City. There's this running on joke with Batman not liking it and it starts off funny and then it goes on and on and we're like, okay, we get the joke. You don't have to keep going. We we get the joke, we get the joke, and there's um, a few scenes like that really, but not a whole lot. I will say some of the Lego Mation it looked a little bit off in my opinion. With the Lego movie, I don't really have a problem with the Lego Mation flowing actually, but for some reason the Lego Batman, some some of the scenes with how the Lego Mation would move, it looked a little bit weird in my opinion. And I will say the third act where everything gets all heartwarming and it's really nice and all but then of course when we get to this big climax where the action is going on and everything is coming to a close I will say even though I had a lot of fun with the third act it did come off as a little bit rushed in my personal opinion overall you guys the Lego Batman movie is a great animated film I actually do think this is better than the Lego movie which I thought was a good solid flick this movie has a great satire on Batman's life there's a lot of heart to Lego Batman. The voice performances are great. The storyline is so brilliant. Great writing, great direction, and the action sequences in Lego form were so exciting. And the film also does have a very good message about family, honestly, about how family is important, how family will be there for you. It was so entertaining. It was funny, definitely. This film stood on its own, and I think that's what made this movie just so good in my opinion. I'm gonna give the Lego Batman movie three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the Lego Batman movie. Okay, okay, I went a little too crazy there, but really, honestly, what'd you think about the Lego Batman? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks as always for watching you guys, your support really does mean a lot to me. I really don't know what I would do without you guys. But thanks so much for watching. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have tiger power. Tiger power. Tiger power. Oh shit.